jersey on me fits me great. Um, a lot of times size 46 is what fits me um, the best throughout different sports, reach, uh, what do you call it, retailers, whoever, or, you know, companies, uh, different sports, different jerseys. So usually 46 fits me the best. And again, this 46 fits me perfect, not too tight, not too small, not too short, not too long. So it works good. So <coughs> again, this is my John Burkett uh, game used 1994 batting practice jersey. Um, yeah, starting pitcher, 15 years in the major leagues, two all-star games, you know, led the league in wins for a season and, you know, over 150 wins in the major leagues. So solid career. And uh, that's really it. And of course, you know, the patch, that's what... I love these batting practice jerseys or just jerseys in general. So whenever I can get a, a one to from a specific year with the patch, that's always a plus because it's just a little extra flair because the jersey would be dope either way, even without the patch, but that's just a little extra. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Everyone have a good day. If you like the video, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Everyone have a good day. Subscribe if you're not already. Peace. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jonathan Bay Area Throwbacks, and uh, today I have a game used San Francisco Giants batting practice jersey of a former manager of the Giants. Um, this is a guy who, in his, during his playing days, he played 18 years in the minor leagues, or parts of 18 seasons in the minor leagues. Um, never made it up to the major leagues as a player, which is uh, it's kind of crazy to me that he played that long in the minor leagues, but never made it to the majors. Especially when he had... Um, the two seasons, if I'm not mistaken, with 30 plus home runs in the minors. Now, I do think part part of that is because I think part of that my, playing minor league career was with the Pacific Coast League. So some guys would kind of just stay in that league. So that might be partially, I think, what it is. But um, basically, baseball guy through and through. After his playing days, uh, moved on as a coach, and he did win two World Series championships as a coach, not a manager, but as a coach. So he did. He was a part of two championship teams. Then he moved on to managing, managed the Phillies for um, six full years and parts of a seventh year. <coughs> My bad, I'm sick right now. Anyway, with his time with the Phillies, he did have a back-to-back 101 -back win season, so he did have some solid success as the Phillies manager. Um, and then in 1984, after Frank Robinson got fired, he took over for the, the rest of that season. So he didn't even manage the whole season with the Giants, but he did partially. He managed for part of a season with the Giants. And this BP jersey I got is a, um, it's a one-year style in the sense that they still wore this style after 1984 BP jerseys, but after 1984, from uh, what I've researched, it was, um, they had uh, the stitched logo and numbering and numbers, but for this one year, they did have only, uh, or they had screen printed. So, and that is right here. This is what we got. It's the BP jersey from 1984. It is a cream color. It's not. I have this same. Um, they also they had a, they moved to a gray style after they got done with with these ones, which I also have one of those. But this is um, hopefully the camera you could tell. But this is like a cream. I think more of a cream color than a, than a white. But that is what it is. So we got. It is a sand knit. So you see metalist sand knit right there. Um, you got the screen printed giants across the chest. There you go. On the back, you got a, a one, his number. And I do have a COA for this jersey that I will be showing later. Sleeves, you don't really have nothing going on. Um, but you do have the trim here on the bottom of the sleeves, which is orange, white, black, white, and orange. So there you go. Um, what else was I going to say? I think that's the only, oh, there's tagging on the inside. Uh, let's see. And it just says 100% nylon. Yeah, so nothing, nothing too exciting about that. Hopefully you can see it. Um, something else that's kind of cool is it does show, um, some people when it comes to gamers, they like to see use. They like to see, you know, the more marks, the better, but for me, since I wear mine, I'm not, to me, it's not like I'm looking for that, but you do have here on the side, a lot of, you can see, 
I don't think it's blood. I'm I'm thinking maybe like um what do you call it? Um uh chewing tobacco or something, maybe, I don't know. There's also another spot right here. So there you go right there. So again, pretty simple jersey. So there it is. Uh, I'm gonna oh another thing. So this jersey, oh real quick, you can see the stitching in the back for the tag. So this jersey, this the material is bad. It's either that or it's just the fact that this is now a 40 year old jersey. But um, when I got this and I first tried it on, I tried it on to see the fit. When I took it off, I, I held it from this part as I took it out and it just ripped. So there is, um, I had to take it to the uh, tailor and get it stitched up. And because of the material, he had to add separate fabric to stitch it up and, and make it work. So this was not actually, this part wasn't there from the times of this jersey being used at the field or anything like that, or from Danny Ozark. This was from me ripping it because it's cheap material, so it is what it is. Um, And uh, I don't like to get anything tailored that's game used or team issued. I like to keep it as it is, to, no matter what the size is, but uh, for this, it was either get it fixed a little bit or have a huge rip in the back. So I think it was pretty obvious what I was gonna choose since I do want to wear it. So, <coughs> my bad, I'm sick. Anyways, I'm gonna bring this over to the other room, do some close-ups, and then I'll throw it off. So here we go. Mesh batting practice jersey. Here's that inside tagging, which nothing too interesting. There you go. How to wash it. There you go. So there we go. We got um, all these marks on the right side of the jersey, which I'm guessing chewing tobacco maybe or something. I don't think it's blood. Seems so it's probably chewing tobacco. Maybe it is blood. Who knows? Anyway, we got the screen printed. Giants across the chest. Come up here and we got the medalist sand mitt tag, which there you go. You got the sleeve trim right here. That's the front. Here's the back. You got one there. There's the sand knit tagging from the back. It's pretty much it. Simple jersey, not much to it, but it works. So I'm gonna throw it on. Oh, you know what? I'm lying. I got one more thing to show. So here's the uh, COA. You got the old school Giants logo right there. Certificate of authenticity. This is to certify the authenticity of the equipment identified below. Giants white warm up mesh jersey. Danny Ozark number one, 1984. Sand size 46. Um, I'm going to block out the name here. Who bought it? Purchased by such and such from San Francisco. Giants memorabilia. Candlestick Park manager. So this was purchased on. In 1985, so after, so right after that season, a few months later. So here we go. Here's the jersey. Um, fits great. Like I said before, 46s are usually, no matter the sport, no matter the um, company. A lot of times, 46s are kind of like that perfect spot for me that works. So, like I said, perfect fit. Not too big. Not too small. Um, and yeah, it's just a batting practice jersey. I like batting practice jerseys. They always, they're just comfortable. They're chill. I got to worry with this one though. Like right now, after this video, taking this off, I don't rip it again. Cause I'm not trying to have a bunch of rips in this jersey. So I'm gonna have to be careful with this one, but it is cool having a jersey that's now 40 years old from a manager from, um, again, not a one year style, but it is. It was a one-year style from what I know in the sense of the screen print on this style jersey. After this, it was stitched. So that's that, really. Um, I hope everyone has a good day. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you're not already. Peace.